This is the cute little shed that she, cottage that she's put out on her property. She's got this nice little screen. And she's got, everything is all off grid. So there's the charger and outside she's got the solar panels. And it's really nice the way she's got it. So everything anybody could want or need is right here. And then she's got the bed up there, another bed up there. It's really nice. This is her first year of being a So she's still in the constructing phases. And her and her daughter live over here. And eventually, when she gets all of the, uh, I think it's called slashing, from when they log the property, all of this is slashing. And as she's able, she's going to hire somebody with big equipment to come in and remove all of that. And she'd like for this just to be open field of grass. This would be nice. And then... You can see there's still like these other little nooks and crannies where she can place other little cabins as well. So it's going to be really, really nice. So yes, we met over a panini. Because I talk to strangers. <laughs> <laughs> and I do too because I'm chatty. So anyways, she asked what I was doing. I was telling her I'm traveling. And then she told me about her brave adventure of buying braver than me. <laughs> 40 acres of land yep. and starting a campground by, so, myself. <laughs> by herself well she's got her her 16 year old daughter who stays there. inside because there's too many bugs yeah <laughs> so, by myself. but she's totally off grid and that's pretty amazing yeah, as well that's very yeah. strange it's, and difficult so anyway so tell me what gave you what gave you this inspiration to do this? Uh, so I found a YouTuber named Robilt, and I took a seminar that he had and with a lot of other people, and I realized um, all the things you can do with just some land. And um, my family has land, but my dad sold it to someone else. Um, so I was like, you know, you could really do a lot with this land. Um, so short-term rentals and stuff, if you have a home, a lot of people with short-term rental, but then you have a mortgage and you have all that stuff. But if you just get some land and throw up some tents and other things, you can charge almost the same amount of money and make quite a bit of money with this. It's a good investment. Um, <clears throat> and, um, you know, it's extra side income. Um, extra side income? Yeah. So, and, and I'm a single parent, so, you know, side incomes and side hustles, you know, and all. So I've been studying this for quite a long time. Um, yeah. So I just said, you know, let's just do this. Let's move and get some land and let's get it done. Well, so how long have you been here now? <clears throat> uh, we moved to Maine in February of this year and we bought the property uh, April 2nd and we moved out here <clears throat> in RV. And uh, then just last month we bought the building and this month is August. So we bought it in July and we're turning it into an Airbnb. And we've got a couple tents out here also that we set up in May. Right. So. So, and I've got <clears throat> pictures of those that I'll show you later. Yeah. So it's she's doing hard. it. She's doing it, but. Yeah, it's a lot of work because our land isn't cleared and we'll show you that. Yeah. Um, it was logged a few years back, so it's not cleared. So I don't have much land to work with. Um, and it's just myself. So I don't really have a lot of help. So it takes a long time to get things done, but. Yeah. You get there. Yeah. First there. year, your first year out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You know. It's been fun, but we just opened this cottage i call it the cottage we just opened that uh the last week in july and we've been booked straight 20 20 days straight no break that's awesome i know it's amazing we're starting out but the so tents is why i did this but they haven't really done too well so far i don't know why well, give it time yeah. so let me flip the camera around and let's get a tour of the cottage yeah it's cutie so um i just want to put a little caveat in here that the guest that's staying here does know that we're doing this filming today so yeah. We're not intruding on anybody's privacy, so she's got permission for us to be in here. Yeah. He's brave because 
she is is willing to take all of this on personally i'm afraid of power tools she's not i love i have a miter saw i have all the power tools go women <laughs> yes yes and I, so wait, what is it glamping is that what we call this yeah this is glamping. glamping yeah there's an outdoor shower so glamping yeah. Uh, cut off grid glamping. So off grid some glamping. Some people say to other things, I'm not glamping. Well, it's off grid glamping. Yeah. So it's it's what you have. Use what you have. Yeah. So then over here is her little kitchen area. She's got dishes up there. And um, you notice we have a theme of pink and teal or turquoise. Yeah, it's a beachy cottage. Shabby and, chic, French country beachy. It's getting there. And this is her little cooking area. This is an old um, antique dresser that I ripped apart because it was old and it smelled really bad. So I just ripped it. But the framework works perfect for what you need. Yep. So I built this little top and then put those in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So she's set, boy. She's She's got it together. I'm trying. And it's really nice. Look at this. She <laughs> even has a touch of fresh flowers in there. And all of this is pr uh, powered by solar. solar. Yep. And then we have a um, camping cooktop. It's in here. You can't see it. But a propane camp stove. Yep. We provide that. So she's got it all together. And yeah. what city are you in or town? We're in Columbia Falls, Maine. There you go. So you can find her by Columbia Falls, Maine, because there's not too many campgrounds around here. No. This, so over here is the shower. Over here is the shower area, and it's not finished. I just have curtains up right now because I had to hurry up and get it up because we had had guests coming. But I bought more wood to finish the sides off. No, uh, folks, she built this by herself, <laughs> and and that's yeah. what to me is um, to me is very imp impressive because, like she said, she has no construction experience, no. and she so is I can do doing this. it. You can do this. These are four by fours, eight feet long. I had to chisel out. A bit so they would fit in there because this was made from a um, a person that mills his own wood. So it's true 4x4, four four, not something you find in the store. Things you find in the store are not true to size. So that's what they're made for to slip right in there. But since this is a true actual 4x4, four four, you have to chisel out some of the bottom. But these poles are freaking heavy. And this is cedar, and it doesn't have to be treated. Cedar withstands the weather outside. It'll, have, it'll be all enclosed. I'll keep this, but I got lights here so that they could see. And I put a, a few pavers in here and a couple big chunky rocks. Here's a little camp solar shower for now, but we're going to change that. And this cute little lamp I love. I got this from Tractor Supply. I love this thing. But um, And is that working off of solar as well? Yeah, it's solar. And these lights are solar. And um, here was our first toilet system. It is a bucket with a toilet seat. Has a toilet seat, but we that's going back in the tent area, and then we just got this toilet in yesterday, so that's really nice. Um, it's not really a compost oh. toilet; it's just you put a bag in there. Right. So it's really neat. Nothing to clean. Right. And then I built this little shelf here. I was like, you know what? They need a shelf. So I put in. They love it. It works perfect. You know, put that all is, stuff there. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine not having it there now. But I did want to stay in here for a day or two and test it before guests come in, but I just didn't have a chance. I mean, we have been booked solid. That's which great. Is, it's amazing. I just don't know why the tents haven't been booked solid. But well, okay. people want the comforts of home, I think, when they're traveling. I think so, too. And, uh, and plus, we've had a lot of hot weather lately. Oh, a lot, yeah. So I think that um, also contributes to people wanting kind of the comforts of home. Kind of sad leaving today. I've been camped out here, parked here for a week or close to a week, and <clears throat> I've really become close to the owner Trish, who has an amazing story to tell. And she's a strong woman, an amazing woman, raising an amazing daughter. so much courage to be doing the 
this endeavor of starting a beautiful campground. And she hopes for it to be a year-round campground. Um, she's got that yurt there and she has dreams of eventually getting some globe, global glass huts to camp out in in the wintertime with the snow and everything. So, uh, so yeah, so this has been kind of like home, home away from home for a while. Um, but I'll be back. I know I'll be back.